Hello, my name is Terrence Maddox, and I am the Senior Account Executive for Crackle. Before I begin, how many people have used Crackle before on their Apple device, Sony PlayStation, Xbox, by a show of hands? Okay, so a few. Okay, so for those of you who don't know what Crackle is, it's um, Sony's streaming uh, digital service. So it's, it's, it's a Sony streaming digital service, and it's available everywhere. So to provide you with a little bit more insight, Crackle sits here at Sony Pictures Television. So the same studio that brought you Breaking Bad, such as just Breaking Bad, Blacklist, Shark Tank, that's where we sit. So we are with pioneers. We can leverage a lot of the content um, experience and success that we've had with these shows on Crackle. And that's where we sit. We sit on a lock here in Culver City. We also partner with some of our friends over at Sony Music on Opportunity, as well as Sony Pictures, um, our movie studio. And last but not least is that we are the dedicated ad sales um, account executives for Sony PlayStation. So we are your main point of contact for all opportunities on Sony PlayStation. So here, the TV landscape is changing. Over 40% of households today are subscribing to some sort of streaming service and 13% um, subscribe to two. So it's not, so no, no surprise, more people are cutting the cords and Streaming is really the, the, uh, the programming uh, method of choice. The, the interesting thing is that 62% of those streamers um, prefer to use Connected TV. So Connected TV is the preferred streaming device, and that's where being at PlayStation and having you know, the reach and the scale of, of game consoles really puts us in a, in a leadership position. Here, so with Crackle, you get a few things. You get reach, you get performance, and you get engagement. So over 27 million monthly unique users, 95%, almost 100% ad completion rates, and over 327 minutes per visitor on average. So really big, big numbers here. 327 is it's because our, our content is premium. It's long form. Users are engaged, and they're staying, and they, and they, and they spend a lot of time on our platform. Here, this is really a good slide on how we're performing across different verticals. 11.75% click-through rate, which is phenomenal. And what you're seeing is on average about 100% ad completion rates. I mean, our content is premium, so people are staying and they're watching. The, you know, when we do ad effectiveness studies, you see brand lifts anywhere, you know, between 100 plus percent and even over 200. So it performs and, 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 and you see the, the metrics and you see the performance based on or across all of that verticals. Next up here, so we've defined our audience as rechargers. And rechargers, they are college educated, they're hardworking, average age is 28 years old, and skews male, about 54%. So this is what we've defined as our audience. And so if you're trying to reach this type of audience, Crackle is the place where you want to be. So here, this is a really good slide is showing we are, we have movies and we are working and we, are, we have partnerships with some of the biggest movie studios, such as Lionsgate, NBC Universal, and Sony, to bring you know, really, really premium programming, specifically movies, to the platform. So really great slide here showcasing that Sony, that Crackle is premium, and that we're working with all the major studios to bring this type of content to our users. So this is the new experience. Launched a few weeks ago um, on Roku. And it's meant to mirror and look very much like TV. So that from the very moment that you turn on Crackle, content will automatically be streaming and looping. And you're able to enter, you're able to go through the different tiles and view content while you're always streaming, while you're always, um, while content is always streaming. So it's it's look and it's gonna feel very much like your TV experience, but it's gonna have all the reporting and the metrics and the accountability, accountability that you want from a from a digital, from a digital provider. So the best of both worlds, TV as well as digital. So where are we? We are everywhere that really matters. So across consoles, smart TVs, mobile, and even up in the sky with Delta. So you can target us everywhere across every major platform that really matters. We're available in every living room. So here we're gonna just gonna set up so advertising. So really with Crackle, it's really about 
it's really TV. It's buying TV that offers you, um, you know, digital solution, but with a linear TV experience. And one of the things that we're doing with that digital focus is we're building a DMP. So right now, we are working with Adobe, Nielsen, and Comscore to build a DMP to allow you to measure viewership and performance on all of your campaigns with us. And this is how we're gonna do it. So we are already collecting data um, through registrations and we're gonna put all of that together anonymously. And then by having all that data anonymously, we're able to match it and be able to target users based on demographics, based on their consumption habits, viewing consumption habits, and based on where they, what they spend on that. So it's gonna be real reporting and real targeting and in, in a TV environment. This is such a cool slide, especially for me. I came, I always work for NBC, so coming from TV, we know, especially when you look at demographics such as the 18 to 49 year old and the 18 to 34 year old, they're no longer watching TV, they've cut the cord. And so here, this is a really good study that we did with Nielsen that shows your incremental reach when you spend money, when you run with us, in addition to also your TV buy. So we add incremental reach across these different networks when you buy with TV. So we're not saying, we're not saying don't buy TV anymore. We're saying that you buy TV, but also add Crackle um, to your ad buy because we're reaching users, especially 18 to 49 year olds, and most, most importantly, 18 to 34 year olds um, with, um, that are not currently watching linear TV anymore. They're on streaming devices such as Crackle, and um, it's just a really good opportunity to be able to hook them as well and add incremental reach to your, to your TV buys. Cool, so this is my favorite part, which is the originals, it's about content. So being the network in the studio, we are able to work with you very early in the integration process. So we wanna, when we, we wanna integrate your product into one of our shows, because we're the studio and we're also the network, we can work early with you. And so here's some of the shows that we have coming up or that, have, that we've already launched and we're able to work with you in the very beginning while we're creating, while we're making, making the show and get your brand integrated early. And so here's an example of how we early story, storyboard your brand into the show. So now let's get to the shows. Um, we're starting off with our most popular and one of my favorite shows, the starring Jerry Seinfeld, comedian in cars getting coffee. It's on season six. It's really good. One of our biggest examples of just the our originals and how successful you know original an original can be on a digital network. So. Jerry and his friends are all getting together in various cars, riding around. Um, the season just launched this year. Se season six just launched, it's been really, really successful. And um, the, the audience can't get enough of him and all of the friends that he brings around and, and, and the conversations that's happening between them. Joe Dirt. So, Joe Dirt launched last week. We're the first streaming service to report uh, to report viewership. So talk about transparency where we reported 1 million streams in the first week. We're so excited about this. Starring, you know, most of the original cast except for, except for Kid Rock. And um, it's performing really, really great and we couldn't be happier with the success um, of, this, of this sequel. Art of More. So this is one of my favorite originals that's gonna be coming out this fall. This is really our big bet. I mean, we're spending over $40 million, um, really this, this show is gonna show you know, our real investment and our real interest and in, you know, in, in, in our originals and, 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 being, and being premium. So starring Dennis Quaid, Kate Bosworth, and Christian Cook, it's really, it's, a, it's, a, it's gonna be a series about the New York underworld of the, underworld of the New York auction houses and kind of all the crime and all of the, the dirt that kind of goes on when when you're, you know, when you're around this elite group of people um, in this world of auction house, auction housing. So we, we can't wait for this. It's coming out this fall, and this is like our big, big bet this year. Super Mansion. So again, one another another big comedy, another comedy that's coming out. It's going to be great. This is also another favorite um, that I can't wait. A lot of a lot of these originals are, are are my favorites that are coming out. This one in particular because it's comedy, starring Brian Cranston. 
and um, Seth Green from, um, from from the producer of Robot Chicken. It's really going to be it's it's this it's it's stop motion animation, really really funny. Uh, it's about this new school of superheroes being matched with Brian Cranston, who's like this old school superhero, and it's just going to show the dynamic of of, of them in, in a house and a mansion, just trying to just just trying to get along and and save the and save the world. And so we're all really excited about this. It's one of our big bets in addition to Art of More, and we couldn't be more excited to see what um, you know how, how this performs. We anticipate it's going to perform great, great, especially when we can carry over fans from, from Breaking Bad because of Brian. Sports Jeopardy. So I'll go to Ohio State. I'm a huge Sports Jeopardy fan. Love uh, just the back and forth of just the questions and answer. In fact, some of the stuff that these people would know is – Still amazes me. The um, the championship series is coming up this fall. It's hosted by Dan Patrick. It's really taking the model from Wheel of Fortune, but adding sports in it. The season the season that's coming up is going to be revamped, and we can't we can't be we can't be more excited about it. It's been performing great. We're going to do a season two. It's going to be revamped and refreshed. So Sports Jeopardy's um, launched last year, and it's been a success. And we we um, I love it, and we can't wait for for season two. Dead Rising, so this is really cool, starring Jesse Metcalf. This was taken from a popular game on Xbox from Capcom. Performed, it started, it just launched right around the spring. Really successful, so successful that we're doing um, a season two. I mean, I'm sorry, um, a movie number two. And as you, you know, as we see with Joe Dirt and also with Dead Rising, we're doing more original movies because they've been performing well. And Trying to just pick up on the whole zombie zombie theme with Dead Walking. That's where Dead Rising kind of picks up, and it really performed great, and uh, it was re was really successful. Chosen. This is a really good example of an original that kind of started with Crackles, and its fourth season has performed really, really, really amazing. It's starring Ch Chad um, Chad Michael Murray, and it's really a killer kill killer be killed thriller. It involves violence and uh, suspense. And it's really everything that you can think of when you want to, you know, a, a suspenseful show with great talent and with a really, really desirable plot line. So, Chosen season four, uh, it's coming, coming, coming out. Uh, really has a big, big fan base because it's been on for so long. It's one of Crackle's um, biggest, biggest originals and most successful originals, second to um, Comedians and Cars Getting Coffee. Startup. This is actually our newest original. Uh, it's, it's great, especially if you work in digital and you're used to kind of just having a lot of friends who are entrepreneurs and startups. So this is going to take place as three, three friends. They're living in Miami, and it kind of takes you behind the scenes or takes you into the world of, of how gritty and how um, dirty and scheming it can be to, to try to get funding for your startup. You know, you're trying to survive every day, and um, we're really looking forward to it. It's coming out um, spring of 2016, and it's going to be one of our big, big, uh, big, big originals, similar to uh, similar to Art of More and uh, Super Mansion. So we're all excited. We can't wait for that. And then last but not least here. So again, if you want to reach a connected audience that is hard to reach on linear TV, Crackle is the place where you want to be. We have over 80 million people that we can reach across every platform. And it's, it's the place to be, especially if you are trying to reach that 18 to 49 year old, 18 to 34 year old that you can't reach on linear television. So is there any questions? Yes. I see here you have um, gaming consoles and like PlayStation and Crackle on the same slide. Is there a way for us to like be on gaming consoles on Crackle? Yes. <clears throat> Excuse me. Yes. So we, with the, the, plat the, the, the slide that I showed you with all the distribution, so we can target users based on the platform they're on. So we can do um, we can do game consoles or smart TVs. So for, for, their, for your question for game consoles, we can target users specifically based on the device that they're on. So Xbox 360, if you've got on your PlayStation, even PlayStation 4. So yeah, we can target based on the platform. Awesome. Any other questions? What's your favorite original? My favorite original is coming out. It's, so, it's Super Mansion. Just the concept. I really, I, I'm just a big kid, and I like anything that's sort of animated or stop motion or uh, cartoonish. And so for me, I think that the mix of being sort of the stop motion and uh, Brian Cranston, he's just a great, great actor. I feel like for me, that's the one that I'm really most interested in. Interested in. 
but the one that's already currently out right now, it's like definitely probably Sports Jeopardy. I went to Ohio State. I'm a big sports fan. So anything around sports is to me is great. And also uh, Dan Patrick is from Cincinnati, Ohio, and I'm from Ohio. So I kind of got a little bit of a Ohio uh, blood love for, for him and his endeavors. So. Awesome. Thank you.